All right, so this video is pretty much starting right after my last one, the part one of removing everything. So now we've got everything here on the floor and just gonna go in the reverse order and put everything back together. Hopefully I can finish it all today, you know, two, three hours and then start this car up. Actually, I'm gonna do an oil change first and then start the car up for the first time this year. And yeah. All right, so I just finished installing all the parts. Um, I haven't started the car yet. I did the oil change as well. Just wanna let you know if you're going to do this, I would say set around seven to eight hours at my skill level uh, in order to complete this task. So pretty much pick a day and you can get all three things done in one day. And yeah, so I did the oil change and now I'm going to do the first startup and then obviously check for leaks or check for any kind of moisture coming out of uh, the gasket area. Uh, the only thing I did not put back is that pan underneath, the uh, metal pan that blocks the oil and uh, front pipe, uh, just so I can check for any leaks. Alright, uh, before I get too happy, I'm gonna go uh, check for any leaks and I'll be back. Alright, so I went to uh, check for the leaks. I didn't find any. Uh, I left the car running for another 10 minutes, still didn't see anything coming out of the flanges by the gaskets. So I went to take a shower and came back so I can get rid of the annoying bubble wrap I had covering the seat so it wouldn't get dirty. And yeah, so I think this, uh, you know, combination of parts to be installed at one time. I know you don't get to see that difference in the, the gain from each and every part and each and every dyno. But for me, it just made sense to put everything together at one time just because these parts uh, kind of require each other to operate properly. And even for the install and uninstall, they kind of just flow together uh, pretty well. So I'll be doing my dyno tune maybe when the weather gets a bit warmer. Uh, right now it's around seven to eight degrees. So I'd rather it be, you know, 18 plus, even 20 degrees plus, and I'll do the dyno then. For now, I'm probably gonna be making some clips for you guys to see and hear the difference in the sound that the engine intake makes. It is a big difference. I just took it around the block and trust me, my honest opinion would be that the stock car should have came that way. As far as the exhaust goes, because the audio system has that fake exhaust built into it, I don't really notice a difference from inside the car. But once I put the GoPro behind with a mic, I'm pretty sure when I record those revs, it's going to sound different over the stock exhaust. Uh, but for now, that's it. And I'll see you guys soon when I do the sound clips on the exhaust and the intake. All right. Peace out.